Hey, what is poppin', ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? This is Hack Power New. Welcome back to another video of Brave Frontier, the last summoner. Now, last video, I said earlier that I wasn't gonna get Alice. Well, guess what, guys? Check it out. I got 2,000 orbs. I want to try to get Alice. So let's see if we can get her. Yeah, so it's gonna be a very short video. I I was just th I was thinking I was like you know what I just got I just got I, I, I just reached 2,000 orbs so why not just go for it especially before that the multi summer is over so here we go guys 2,000 orbs for the 10 units drop let's go I'm scared to see I'm scared to look. I'm scared. Alright. Whew. I remember the last time we did a multi summer video, we didn't get any of the people. We didn't get Charlotte nor Grind or was it somebody else? I don't remember, but here we go. Three, two, one. Ah! My eyes are closed. Did, did you get it? We did not get her. Man, that sucks. That really sucks, man. Once again, I didn't win. All right, so we have a Earth type hero, Nora, the runaway runaway bride. She's an archer. We'll talk about her skills later. We'll go to the next piece of hero. So, or I should want to do the ones that I don't I, I don't have. I already have her. Uh, what was her name again? Loa. I already have Loa. I do not have you actually. Who are you? Jeremiah. Reese. So you're a water type hero. A full piss. Oh no, man. You are. You have one arm. Poor guy. Let me hear what your story, man. Alright, so. Pretty much. It looks like he already has a blocking skill and a brave work skill. So we're gonna go through those. So, so he has a water skill that pretty much does. A single single enemy attack with a 58 to 116 damage it's not bad and also well boosted by attack hmm. and he also has one worth AOE but I have to unlock that later then the next one is iron wall which boosts block rate by 15% for the whole squad during three turns and then next up you can just upgrade everything else and his his leader skill that boosts the attack in HP for all water units, and then his his single attack brave burst and AOE brave burst does advance up once you have it on light as well. Same goes for the iron wall, and then you can choose to either summon a, a leviathan or not. But he looks more on the offensive side. I don't really probably see much of myself using his block rate or his iron wall. So I'll probably do more focusing on this and the damage of his attacks. Oh no, he he's not a pretty cool character. He had the battle scars too in his face. That dude went through a lot. Alright, next up we have her. I've seen her. I seen no yeah, Nora. I've seen a lot of Nora on Arena. And she she's she seems pretty interesting. I, I want I wanna know what she does. I'm gonna find her right now. So Earth type Nora. So pretty much you can see she has a single enemy brave burst, which is uh, which does 58 to 116 damage boosted by attack to a single enemy. Then she also has tactical mastery, which boosts infiltration damage by 10% for squad during three turns. So with infiltration boosted up, that means you have you have you have more chance of doing critical hit or critical damage to the opposing enemy. Then she also has healing, which heals 10. 10 plus HP for the squat and then also gives you a 50% increase of units magic as well. So that's neat. Then she also has where you unlock her leader skill where you can pretty much boost attack and HP for 30% for the whole squad of all earth types. And then you can increase her hair single attack, single enemy attack, which goes up a little bit by 68 and 136. And then her infiltration will be boosted from, not, from 10 to 20%. Then moving on up, singles for leader skill goes up 30%. Then 
Ooh. I mean, ooh, so that'll be. Police will be quite effective once you get them a lot. Same goes for her gnawing wood and infiltration. And then, of course, you have her healing. So, yeah, and then you can choose whether you want to summon the great tree. I don't know if I want to summon the great tree, though. Alright, moving on to the next one. Okay, I already have you. Alright, so we're going to see what you're made of. Fire Hero, Darcia, Barantine, Barantine. She is a fire archer hero. And as you can see, going down here, she has a single enemy attack spray burst, which does fire damage, 58 to 116 damage boosted by attack for a single enemy. Then she has weakness, which reduces the attack damage by 10% for the enemy for enemy squad during three turns. I like to use that a lot. That way, they will have less damage on us, especially when you're using the uh, iron not iron wall, but it's uh, another another defense boosted kind of skill. Next, so we have your tactical mastery, which is boost infiltration damage by 10%. Get that critical damage going, and then you can increase her spray burst up a little more, CD8 to 136. Then then you also increase the weakness to make it really effective to not take more damage. Up by 5%, so it'll be let's so say 10 to 15. And you have quickening with boost initiative by 5 for the, for, for, for the whole squad. So, with the initiative, that pretty much kind of increases your attack speed. So, so you might even be able, if, if you're lucky, you might even be able to get a two, a, a, a two turns in instead of just one. Same, and so, I, so that's pretty much it. For, for, for there, and then you get some of the Phoenix. All right, then I think we're up to the last one that is this here, right here. Alia, Butte Forest. Dagger wielding dark unit. So it seems here she is all attack, all about attack, ladies and gentlemen. She has a single enemy brave burst attack and an AoE brave burst attack. So pretty much this one is just dealing dark damage, 58 to 116 percent or 116 damage boosted by attack to some enemy, and then this one is just 21 to 42 damage boosted by magic to all the enemies. Oh yeah, she's gonna be pretty, she's gonna be pretty good doing a lot of damage. So this is also increased up for the single enemy, 68 to 136 damage. And then here you also have a harvester mastery where you can just pretty much boost battle crystal drop rate by 50%. So if you want to get some extra crystals, there you go. And of course her leader skill, the dark creator's power, boost attack and HP by 30%. The dark units only. Then moving on up, it pretty much just boosting up your your brave burst attacks. And also not so much with the harvester mastery, but it probably might be a bit more effective if you have some other heroes that also have Harvester Mastery. Then you can summon the Grim Reaper itself. And that is pretty much it. I was unable to get Alice. Once again, I failed with these multi summons. So that is uh, another losing streak on my record right there for multi summons. But let me know if you guys got any. Let me know if you guys got Alice. Comment that down in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely click the like button. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel. And definitely do not forget to click the notification button because there will be more videos like this in the future. Okay, guys, that is it for the last summoner. It is Hack Power News. Signing off.